Welcome to our video on getting started with smart connections. In this short video, I will showcase the main features of a smart connections toolbar. Smart connections is located under the T4R create modify tab in the Revit ribbon. With this software, we can efficiently and accurately model elements for various disciplines, including wood and metal framing, precast concrete, SIPS panels, CLT elements, ventilated facades, and more. I'll showcase the primary abilities of a smart connection toolbar using these concrete walls. The main principle is quite simple. We select a single or multiple elements, press insert elements icon, choose the configurations and software inserts numerous of families by our predetermined configurations. Whenever we make changes to our host element, there is no need to adjust the configurations or reinsert families. Instead, we can simply use the update feature, which automatically replaces all the families, adapting to the new geometry of the elements. You'll find that there are a couple of ways you can update. One of them is Update Elements. We'll update inserted elements according to a configuration applied to a selected host instance. Update by size involves updating special parameters. If you've adjusted the connected elements by the host or the adjacent connection elements, another option is update by configuration. Every time Smart Connections is used, the tool will automatically add the shared parameter DC to the host element and write the name of the configuration that was used. Using Update by Configuration reads the configuration name from the DC parameter and reinserts elements based on its settings. Moving forward, let's explore delete abilities. Delete selected. You have to select one element and this command will delete all of inserts that are placed with one priority tab. All others will remain. Delete elements will delete all elements inserted with smart connections. Manually placed elements will not be deleted. Delete without host. Will remove families if they lose their host. Using smart connections, we can position families based on their center of gravity. The software automatically calculates the centroid and adds the necessary number of families. In the settings selection list, we specify the location of a configuration file. This is where your configurations are stored, accessible either on your local computer or a company server. The template project location automatically imports families from the assigned project. The project family browser is designed to facilitate efficient family navigation of families within the project. The help web feature directs you to software manuals on how to use the software more effectively. Lastly, in the Configuration tab, we select Families, allocate their locations, and establish rules for specific connections. In the upcoming part, we will explore these details further. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to sharing more insights in the next part.